Good morning guys, I figured that instead of my face I'd give you a sweep of what the graveyard's just starting to look like so far. Um, the fence piece that just went out of frame off to the left is uh, still needs to be put up. I don't know what I did with the leg form. Those fence pieces are, sta are staked into the ground with rebar. Rebar goes up the center post and I don't know what I did with pieces of rebar for that. So anyway, there's the graveyard. Good morning, it's gonna be an awesome build day. Stuff has to get done, so let's roll the intro and let's get to it. One side of the panels are painted, setting up for second side. And then it'll be off the lows. And I know, it looks kind of purplish, doesn't it? <laughs> that would be a grievance that I had with the person I was making the paint yesterday. is like, I want black. And she's like, well, if we look at the little color cards, this one here is the closest we have in the cheap stuff to black. And I'm like, it looks kind of purplish. Yeah, but that's as good as we got. And I'm like, ah. I come home and the dude that mixed the paint down at Lowe's the other day entered it manually. He didn't use the little cards and the numbers on it, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, guys, if you get black paint at Lowe's, make sure they do it manually. And, and I should even give you the number too. Let's do that. So from Lowe's, Olympic interior latex flat because if it's going to be sprayed inside, you don't want to use exterior paint. Not sure if you guys can see it, but the barcode on this is 1081-B-20120916141414. So there you go. There's your paint color code of the day. And both sides, both panels handled. <laughs> Look guys, it's Keith. Hi guys. He's back. Yeah, yeah. I'm here. He was actually here last night too, but yeah, you know, life, it happens. Not but, well. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so anyway, uh, we've got this wall up, we need to make a trip real quick to Home Depot, and then we're going to get more, yeah, we're going to get more wood. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> wood! <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know why Beavis would be happy about wood, but anyway, I'm happy about wood. <laughs> Well, man, and the insults start. <laughs> Time check right now, 12.47, so we got to get a move on. Let's do this. Time check, 3.06. Did you guys synchronize your swatches? I know, I just dated myself on that one, didn't I? Um, so, yeah, put it in the comments if you guys remember Parker Lewis Can't Lose and, uh, or Fer Ferris Bueller. Anyway, Keith is in his own world, listening to headphones huh? and getting shit done. He is working on the roof right now up there. Oh, I should do a tutorial about that. About the roof. Damn it. Okay, anyway. Huh? Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, all these panels, the remaining panels have been painted on the back side. Um, starting these first three here, paint on the front side. The last ones haven't been flipped around yet because they were still wet. And, yes? Why are you hitting everybody with your wood? Huh? Uh-huh. What? What did you say? You heard what I said. You oh. know what I said, even though you couldn't hear me. I didn't know what you said. Uh, I oh, said, my oh. wood hit your face. Yeah. Thanks, bro. It's like old times. Time check. 340. All nine panels are painted and ready to go into El Honto. El Honto. No words? Nothing to say about that. <laughs> And uh, today, guys, um, I'm also going to do a quick tutorial. I'm not sure it'll be up today, um, but I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to do plastic when it's wrapped around something that can't accept a staple. Keith and I also went to uh, Home Depot, and we got basically the remaining stuff, including uh, door latches, hinges, and um, poles to use for the two doors on the front right here. And no specific facade this year. Just basically two doors. Split the groups up as they go in. And I love the echo in here. This is gonna be so cool. Whisper maze with echoes. Awesome. Time check, 525 and the roof is done. So now we got to do the front part, which is gonna be the most difficult because the front part is the part that's gonna have the doors. And then we have to do the end part and then we have to do the maze, which should be, heh, fingers crossed, pretty simple. Fingers crossed. Don't need to cross them. I know it's gonna be. <laughs> Keith is boasting about, oh my god, dude. That's a brand new phone. It's an OtterBox. I don't care what it is. You don't, don't stop it, dude. I'm not gonna do anything. Oh my gosh. 
Okay. <laughs> so anyway, guys. I'm find an otter box tomorrow. <laughs> We were talking, I moved a ladder, we're cleaning up for the night, I, I moved a ladder and it was on top of the ladder and I saw it just before I moved the ladder but it would have ended up on the ground. So time check, 9.08, um, I got a bunch of stuff to do, shower, edit, cock, <laughs> upload, not in that order. Anyway, it's rough, but we've got one of the two doors done. It's rough. Well, it is rough. Keith can't cut. <laughs> Keith cuts like a third grader. Actually, that's more like a fucking preschooler. <laughs> Actually, that's more like with the fucking curvy scissors and the construction paper. Keith hasn't learned to not stop cussing. He, he's out of practice. And this is what the outside is looking like right now. I was hoping to have gotten it all done and painted tonight so that's not going to be like weird and obvious that it's like... I don't know. If you guys have ever done a haunted house in your front yard and you've used panels when you go and paint them, it looks totally different. Coming from up the street when they're not painted, it's like, boom, sore thumb. But today, coming home when this outside wall that we got up today, when it was painted, you didn't even notice anything was here. Awesome build day. <laughs> we miss you, bro. <laughs> I'll be back next week. Next week? You said tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. All right, it's golden. It's on the vlog now, tomorrow. And then I'll be back next week. So, in case you guys were wondering also, the basic concept on this is for the parties or groups to be split up right away. So you're going to have people entering on the right, people entering on the left at the same time. All taken care of with the, uh, the greeter up front. And then they come into this dark room. So if you do a 360, we see, oh my god, it's Keith. We see the front entrance right there. Come back around here. I said 360, I'm at 180, I don't know. I don't know my angles. And then basically it'll come through here, and then there's gonna be one more, there's gonna be one more panel here, and then chain link fence from this panel, and the panel that's not there yet, two panels deep coming this way. So they will be able to see each other from across the way, and that's where the actor's gonna hide, and then the actor's gonna come out and do what? break his claws on the chain link, fence. chain link fence because it's going to be electrified. So, awesome build day. I, I'd say, I mean, if this is like mid-September. We'd be good. <laughs> and just because the plywood is warped and I'm like, oh, the door is okay, I had to go and put like this bar in to keep this top part from moving. And then on the other side, I had to put this bar in to keep the bottom side because it's all warped to crap. That equates to crap warpage. You don't want that. The tutorial that I think that I mentioned earlier, um, I'll either post it tomorrow or the next day. And I know you guys are like, well, we need it. Well, you'll get it. It'll just be a day or two. Um, other than that, I'm beat. I'm tuckered. I'm worn out. I'm dead. I... I'm officially zombified. And you look it too. I know it. Hey, at least I took a shower. I didn't realize earlier that I had like speckles and paint and like everything in my hair. Yeah, look like <sighs> you had some kind of funky tan or something. <laughs> yeah, it's a painter's tan. And and your brain is fried from like homework and school and baby and stuff. Yeah, lack of sleep and <sighs> Lots of homework and two exams tomorrow. Yeah. So that's what's going on, on the home front. But right now, you guys get to enjoy another episode of Cock on the Couch. Talk on the Couch, huh? Yeah. I like Cock on the Couch. <laughs> Goth DJ. So any concern about too many cars in your neighbor neighborhood during the haunt? Yes, actually. Um, the good thing is, is that we have a school at the end that people can park at. But... Other than that, it's going to be on the side of the street parking, and there is lots of that. However, my main concern is, like, people pulling out and pulling in and people walking. That's my main concern. I don't want anybody getting hurt, so. I think that, um, I was, I was thinking about that, too. I read that comment. Having an actor out there and if, you know, people are driving by and they, it's too many cars or whatnot, ha, you know, point them down in the direction of the, the church or the, the school and ask them to park down there. 
Aiden loves keyboards. That was a funny joke. Thank you. Ramstall. Are you guys planning on entering my 200 subscriber contest? Hint, hint. We'll try, Ram. I know in your comment you also uh, noted about time, and yes, time is slipping away. 22 days till Halloween, and like 18 or 17 days until when we open, so I'm like, I'm frazzled. I'm stressed. Borgex2679, if you get the motion sensors up, leave them on only at night, maybe that cat will stay away. Wow. <laughs> Can you imagine that dresser in there going at night time? I don't think the cat would set it off. It's too small. Oh, no. I, I think it would. Every every once in a while, the... Well, you had to dance around in front of it just to get it going. And wasn't that a sight to see? <laughs> ABC Noise 2. I could have my own Oktoberfest wiener races. I have four of those little wieners. I Slap wouldn't. some mustard on them, baby. <laughs> I was going to say, I wouldn't brag about that. No, I love wiener dogs. They're so freaking cute. Nick KK two zero nine on the weekend before Halloween I'm going to the nest. If you've been or heard about it, can you let me know if it's any good? I haven't heard. Have you heard about the nest? A bee's nest? <laughs> what my hair looks like. Well, <laughs> other than that, I don't know what she's talking about. A woken nightmare. I love the prop car. Is there an actor in the scene too, or is it just the car shining on all its own? Just the car. Child's Play 233. Hey, Troy, Lori Lee, Keith, and the rest of the Hellmouth crew. I'd really appreciate a shout-out for the haunt that I act at during cock. Can you please direct people to look up this on YouTube? Orphean Theater, House of Horrors, 2012. Thanks a bunch. For anyone in the Massachusetts area, the haunt is in Foxboro. Ooh. Massachusetts, that's where I'm from. Massachusetts and Connecticut, I Born in Connecticut and grew up mostly in Massachusetts. In Worcester. Where you park the car in the yard. I thought you had to walk the dog and park the car and go to Harvard. That's Boston. Oh. Different accent. Really? Yeah, it's slightly... I've never had a Boston. It's always been more of a Worcester accent. Oh, wow. Yeah, which I had to learn how to cover in communications. Still to this day. Because Jill Sant didn't like the fa fact I said Jill Sant. <laughs> Get out until you can pronounce your R's. Er. When I was a kid, I used to say hamburger. Vantoro, I was thinking of starting up a vlog for my setup, even if it's rather small, just to show how much work actually goes into it. If you're a haunter, we can tell you. We know. A lot of work goes into it. So much work that you end up looking like that at the end of the day, just... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Do I have to fuzz that? No. Do you guys mind if I fuzz that, or I probably just left it in? Okay, I'll just say it. F you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. Here, baby, throw the cock. You, you get... Yeah, I'd like to. You carry your son. You see how tired you look at the end of the day. <laughs> I was always afraid it's going to poke me in the eye. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the cop poked me in the eye. Alright guys, happy hunting. See you tomorrow. Happy hunting. That was another terrifying tale from the hell mouth. Tune in tomorrow, boys and ghouls, for another terrifying chapter. Ah ha 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 ha!